Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing leg 11 of the Balkans bush trip in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today's trip will be 62.61 nautical miles, an estimated time of 30-ish minutes from Iannis Kapodistrias International Airport to Action AB, wherever that may be. So let's go jump into it. Okay, so Navlog and the VFR map have both appeared. That's usually a good sign. Controls work. Okay, um, those are all good things. So let's um, set ourselves up to go. Get ourselves ready. We are on, we're already on the right heading. We're going to put our altitude to three, two and a half thousand feet. Have a quick look at the nav log. As you leave Corfu International Airport, head south. You quickly pass over the small islet of um, Pont Ponticonisi, lovingly referred to as Mouse Land, uh, Mouse Island. On your way back to the island's rocky shoreline, from there, follow the coast to a seaside town built around the mouth of the river Nasongi. The coast bends southeast beyond Masongi, and so you will so will you as you trek with it. Sorry, my reading is terrible tonight. Follow the heading and you will quickly pass Lefkimi, a town in the countryside with tendrils spreading in all directions. Continue to the southernmost point of the island where you'll find the popular seaside village and large sandy beaches of Cavos. Ooh, nice. Right, no more, let's go. Let's take off and start this trip. Whoa. Off we go. Ooh, that was a bit vicious. Limey. Very choppy. You on, you on, you on. And uh, vertical speed on and five hundred feet per minute. There we go. That was quite a um, challenging takeoff. We're on our way up now. Don't really think there's an awful lot to see. on our way up. Oh, I did forget to check the graphics before I turned this on just in case it reset it. I had an issue the other day where I turned my PC on and it reset the whole the resolution of everything down to 480 to some reason. And other games I had were running at the lowest possible graphical settings, so I'm not sure what's happened there. Things seem to be sorted out now anyway. Go away, co-pilot message. Thank you. So we're looking for the small islet of Ponte Conesi. Mouse Island. So, a seaside town built around the mouth of the river Masongi. And then we'll be heading off over there, I believe. Up towards Cavos.
Sorry there hasn't been a, an awful lot in the way of videos this week. It's been a challenging week. A lot on at work. A lot of painting and decorating to be doing in in the house. A lot of cleaning and things. Not left me with a lot of time to do things like this, unfortunately. So, yeah, apologies about that. Fingers crossed everything's going to be finished in the next couple of weeks. So I'll have a lot more spare time. We can maybe get this push trip done. Let's have a quick gander outside. Ready off there in the distance. Now where's this river? Oh look at all the swimming pools in the villas. Sweet. I guess that's the river over there. And we want to head off over that way. Yes, we do. Oh. Okay, so we're going to throttle back now. See, so yeah, I should have remembered tonight. For once. Right, now vlog. VFR map. The coast bends southeast beyond Masungi, so will you as you track with it. Follow the heading and you will quickly pass Left Kimi, a town in the countryside with tendrils spreading in all directions. Continue to the southernmost point of the island where you will find the popular seaside village and large sandy beaches of Kiavos. Adjust and turn east across the Straits of Corfu. As you return to the mainland, you'll pass over a collection of small grassy inlets. Near the coastal village of Soy Soyvota. So where are these large sandy beaches of Kavos then? Definitely an outside time. Over there, I guess. Or down there. Hmm. The Straits of Corfu over there to the east. It was like we're continually flying at um, dusk or dawn. 6 a.m. local time, 6.08. No, it doesn't matter what time I'm doing this in the, in the day where I am. The, oh, the light in the, is always the same. And considering this is like a seven hour flight. You're all in, all in. No, it's more than that, isn't it? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't get it. Nice sandy beaches down there. I haven't been to the beach in a year. Thanks, Corona. Yeah, last time I was at the beach, I was in Portugal. 13 months ago, maybe? That was the last holiday I had and the last time I was away from the house for any particular amount of time. Thank goodness for uh, the internet and games like this, huh? 
so I can actually get to explore the world a little bit. Roll on 2021. Maybe we can all have a bit of freedom back. And then go somewhere like this, maybe. So we're going to be heading to 69 shortly. Uh, so once we've got to the coastal village of Suivota, we're looking for a road which, which runs southeast, hugging the rocky coastline, eventually leading to another small town in the hills, Pradika. Okay. I guess we'll be turning very shortly. I don't want to go too early on this turn. So I'm going to wait for the heading to change. I wonder what that island is. I should really learn to fly some other aircraft soon and go on some different um, different trips. As always, if you want to suggest a craft and a destin or and a trip, then leave it down in the comments below. And as always, if you're down in the comments, why not hit the subscribe button if you haven't already? And the little bell icon to be notified the next time I eventually upload a video. I'd love to be able to hit 25 subscribers before the end of the year. I think we're on about 17 now, so if you want to help me out, it would be appreciated. See, my goals aren't huge. 25 is all I need to be happy before the end of this year. And then next year we can go for 25,000. Yeah, right. Yeah, help me out. Help me get to 25. That's only eight more, eight more subs. All I need. Lovely sunset we're flying into here. Give myself a cheeky little screenshot for the thumbnail. Right, what did it say? Uh, coastal village of Soivota. Which I would guess is this thing here. And then we're going to follow a road southeast uh, along the coastline. Get to the, the Perdeca, the town Perdeca. Then going to keep uh, uh, heading into the hills, following the road. Find another small village, uh, Aegea, Agia. So, uh, situated on the southern hillside of a grassy peak. Nice. So basically we're going to fly down the coast here. So there's Soivota. Over there. Just tilt the plane, you can see. Uh oh. 
tilted it too much. Autopilot's off. Oh, she's had a big... She's had a moment. Let's, um... Get ourselves back on track, shall we? Here you go, there's Soivota. I'm guessing that's the, the next town up there. Which name of it was Perdica? See, that's why you don't interfere with the controls when autopilot is on. Well, not too much, not too much anyway. Or why you should probably fly, you know, yourself sometimes. Oh, nice big stutter there. I feel like I've been looking out this left-hand window at an awful lot of scenery that looks like this. I hope the Patagonia bush trip is um, slightly more varied. Seems This one seems to always be left-hand side rocky cliff base, right-hand side water or fields. It is a bit samey. Got the Dika. Then we're going to go to Aegea. Then we're going to go continue southeast past the base of town of Parga. Soon you arrive at Aegea. Kriya. Kriaki? A village in the hills surrounded by a lush forest. Too many POIs in this one. Um. This is Pardika. Like a stadium they've got there. It seems so. Actually going to turn that way slightly to get back on track. We're going to be going to 140 soon anyway. Hello, Peritica. Hey, big stutters. I wonder if it'd be less stuttery once I've got myself a, a more beefy graphics card. Argia, southern hillside of a grassy peak. I don't see it. Must be on the other side of, of this. I'm going to put a bit of... going to... Um, gain a bit of height. Just in case. I'm not sure if we were slightly too low then, or not. I think we should just about be fine. That'll be quite close, but... Um, yeah, we'll get over this safely. 
I don't think we would have done if I'd stayed at two and a half thousand. See if we get the 500 warning. See? It's a good job we climbed, really. Good job I was slightly awake then. So where's this road? The road should be over there somewhere. Probably shouldn't be flying this low over these hill mountain tops, but hey, all good fun. Um, I'm gonna give us a bit of turn again. Continue along the road, heading southeast past the bayside town of Paraga. Soon you will arrive at Argia Kriaki, a village in the hills surrounded by lush forest. Seriously, don't know where this road is. But and I swear we've we've been down there as well, and we've flown down that way. It really feels like we flew over that and then came over around here. Like we're. I don't know. Ooh, look at that bay. I honestly think this game could be a good way of kind of um, location scouting for secret spots to go and visit. Unknown locations which might be beautiful. If you're planning a trip somewhere you could scout the area on the game and then go and see it in real life. Like that lake. That bay that we just flew past and this bay here. I'm sure it'd be a good idea. Oop. We've missed the turning again. We go to about there. Oop. Moving away from Agi Kriaki, uh, break off in the road and head down the grassy cliffs on the shoreline. You will fly past Amudia, a small fishing village alongside the mouth of the river Archeron. As you close in on the beachfront area known as Paralia Lutasas, with houses and resorts stretching the length of the coast. So is this that? Palia Lutasas? Lutasas? No, that too sounds too small from the way they described it.
Then we're going to uh, look rather southeast, look for another village on the coast near Thessi. Make your way along the coast as it goes slightly southeast and leads you to a flat outcropping on the other side of a small bay near the town of Mitikas. There's a nice seaside town, a beachfront town. And then we are So is this the pa Paralia Lutsas? Here? I would guess that's this must be it here. No idea what was going on there. Sorry about that. Just keep flying. Oh, another big stutter there, sorry. Pretty much back on track, which is good. And as we fly down here, we're going to be looking uh, southeast, which is kind of the way we're going, uh, for another village on the coast. Near Thessi. So I presume near Thessy is over these over this rise here perhaps. That would be my guess. Over here somewhere. Um and then we're going to make our way along the coast, curve slightly southeast, and lead you to a flat outcropping on the other side of a small bay near the town of Mitikas. The bay we're going to fly over here, essentially. Okay. Makes me look behind me if I push that button. So of course there's leg 11 of the bush trip so there's another five to go after this one i believe try and get those five done in the next two weeks drag this out any more than it needs to be and then we can try and do something else I'm hoping by November as well, I'll have my sim room fully set up. I ordered a rig. Um, 
last week and half of it arrived on Friday. Not sure where the other half of it is, but I hope it, hope it will arrive on Monday. So that will, yeah, once I get that set back up, can do a bit more driving as well as flying. And I will be doing some streaming as well. So if you want to come join me on any streams, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified. I do normally stream on Twitch, but I'm going to have a go at streaming over here on YouTube for a little, a little while. I'm sure it's uh, absolutely no different. I'm sure we'll be turning very shortly. Did we find near Thessie? I don't think we did. I can't be it. Maybe this is it coming up here. What's that? I wonder what that is. Kind of very big warehouse, I guess. Mm, Mitikas is probably over there. Yeah, Mitikas. Um, once we get to Mitikas, we're going to find the road that runs south. It'll bring, it will bring past the town of Preveza and across the waters that lead to the Ambrican Gulf. On the other side of the strait is the town of Act Action and the national airport where you can land. Over there, I guess. Their directions are a bit rubbish because if we're looking for a road that runs south that means the road would run that way into the water so if i was a if i didn't have that and i couldn't cheat by by doing this but like, well there's no road that runs south there's a road that runs southeast but south is that way There's also a lot of spelling mistakes in this game and a lot of grammar mistakes I've started to notice. So, um, yeah, come on, Cyber and Microsoft, sort that out. You bloody buggers. So, where's my airport going to be? Somewhere around there or there. I think it might have actually run that way. Because there's that... This bit looks like it's there. So we're going to wind up... Having to take a bit of a wide berth on this one. That is it. Hmm. 
So I'm going to ignore that last heading. And, um... We're going to fly this one. Muscle. Fly out this way. Guess we could probably lose a bit of height as well, couldn't we? Bit of a dive there. Probably not giving myself enough turning in the circle there, but I'll bring it down fairly low. I'm pretending like I know what I'm doing here. Clearly, I don't. But if we can get it stuck on the ground. Without exploding or dying, I don't. I think those two are probably mutually exclusive, aren't they? Well, that was good timing. Oh, it's got massive leg cramp. Oh, I was trying to land the plane. Excellent. Ooh. This is one of them stories that's going to go into crash scene investigations. Amateur pilot gets cramp whilst landing plane over ocean heroically saves everybody on board we can slow it down for some flaps <sighs> coming in very high very, 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 very high indeed. Uh, it's alright. Small plane, long runway. I still can't bend my leg again.
Made it down. Oh. Can't believe I made that one. That was destined to end in disaster. Okay, so there we go. That's leg 11 of the Balkans bush trip done. 33.58 minutes, which isn't too bad. This is only four minutes over the estimated time, which is very good for me, especially considering we had that very dangerous uh incident towards the end where we nearly crashed and exploded thanks to some cramp in my leg um but anyway all that's left to say now is thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up the thumbs up helps out big time helps get the video recognized and kicks that algorithm into overtime um and yeah feel free to go back and check out the other legs of the bush trip or any of my other videos on the channel so thank you so much. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.